everyone, my name is Salomon. And I'm Amanda. And, and welcome, welcome to, to your Bourbon Show. Show. In today's episode, we have our student reporters bringing you the latest school news. Let's see what they have for us in this episode. This past week, we had our school go through cyberbullying training. We asked a few students about cyberbullying, and this is what they said. How can you define cyberbullying? Cyberbullying is like, um, like online messaging that's like hurtful and that could affect people in many ways. Yo defino cyberbullying como personas que acosan a las otras personas en línea porque no tienen la valentía de decirlo en persona. Cyberbullying is defined by people who bully other people online. Either it's video games, social media, or any online platform. Why do people cyberbully? They cyberbully because they think they won't get caught because they're anonymous. They use the internet as like a way to mask themselves, trying to hide who they are. ¿Por qué la gente hace cyberbullying? Yo creo que la gente hace cyberbullying solo para que se sientan bien por ellos mismos. What are the social effects of cyberbullying? Uh, you can make students go depressed or they can isolate themselves and make them feel bad about themselves. I think an effect of cyberbullying is people can harm themselves. Um, people getting hurt, people not feeling good about themselves. So I don't think people should cyberbully. They do it maybe just to get attention or maybe because they're mad at something for the other person. ¿Qué puedes hacer si alguien está siendo acosado en línea? Primero tienes que guardar la evidencia y luego reportarlo con un adulto que esté cerca, por decir tu padre. Y si no es en la escuela, puedes ir con tu principal para reportar a ese cyberbullying. What should you do if you're being cyberbullied? I would talk to a trusted adult and also talk with a guidance counselor or a teacher that I know. You should change your privacy settings to friends only and block them. Blocking them, uh, maybe uh, contacting a parent or a trusted adult and letting them know what's really happening. Congratulations to Ms. Ledesma, our bilingual clerk, for being nominated Eagle of the Week. Let's see what makes Ms. Ledesma our Eagle of the Week. Mrs. Rosa states that Ms. Ladesma is a good-hearted, funny person and always has a positive attitude. She also keeps updated on our website and translates many papers into Spanish as bilingual she is. She is a joyful, wonderful Eagle of the Week. This week was Counselor's Appreciation Week, and we would like to send a shout-out for all of the support they had provided for our students. Here are our wonderful counselors. Carmen Porra, 7th grade counselor. This week, we're going to be interviewing our Bourbon counselors. So, Ms. Boras, what is the skills that takes to be a counselor? I think the skills that takes to be a counselor is a person that is compassionate and that it's willing to empathize with students, to uh, understand their feelings, and to empathize with what they're going through in order to provide them better services. Okay, also, another question. What do you provide for kids in need that come to you for help? For the kids that come to me for help, most of the time I provide them with interpersonal skills that are going to help them uh, interact with others, socialize with others, but also understand themselves. I also offer support for their academic part, assisting with grades, assignments they may be missing, and providing strategies for uh, them to organize their time to perform in class. Okay, thank you, Ms. Bodas, for being an awesome grade counselor. Thank you, guys. Mrs. Green, eighth grade counselor. So the skills that you need to become a guidance counselor is basically to be a great listener. That's the most important part of being a counselor. Also, to be very flexible in your work, and also to have a kind heart will be the, the qualities that you need to become a counselor. Ms. Green, what is one of the most rewarding part of your job? The most re rewarding part of my job is to see when students progress academically, socially, when they um, encourage each other, and I have a part in that of encouraging them and for them to excel and go beyond. I love to see my students go on to high school and do great things and come back to me and tell me how well they're doing. Awesome, thank you Ms. Green for being an awesome guidance counselor. Thank you for the interview. <laughs> Ms. Cortina, sixth grade counselor. So Ms. Cortina, what is the most rewarding part of your job as a counselor here in Burbank? Part of my job 
is that I'm able to see students utilize the skills that I've taught them. This leads me to believe that I am changing their lives in a positive way. Um, also, one of the things that really fascinates me about this entire counseling job is that students trust in you. They trust you with their issues and concerns. And to me, when a student and the counselor establish a trust relationship, then the magic of being successful begins. Okay, thank you, Ms. Cortina, for being an awesome sixth grade counselor. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Green, Ms. Cortina, Ms. Porras, and Mr. Martinez. We appreciate you. In other news, our National Junior Honor Society, led by Ms. Macias, had their induction ceremony this past Friday. Congratulations to all the students who were inducted. How does it feel to be in the Junior Society? I, I, uh, I have an opportunity to learn and grow as a person, and I'm glad to have that opportunity. Uh, it feels great. It's a, a wonderful experience and I love it a lot. Like, I get to learn, become a better person, and it's just a great uh, society. How do you feel to be in the Unir Society? Uh, I feel good, you know, like I'm a part of something and like I help out and stuff. Uh, what does it mean to you to be in the National Junior Art Society? Uh, for me, it means that it's like a really special event and I'm really proud of myself about it. Well, for me, being in the junior, junior Honor Society, it means that my teacher don't only appreciate me as a student, but they appreciate me as a model role for the other, other students that are coming. And I really appreciate that and that they have trust in me, that I will be a great student. And I'm so happy to be in it and I hope to be in it next year too. Are you proud of your sister for being in the Junior Honor Society? Yes, I'm very proud of my sister. Um, she's really smart and she just does all her work, you know. She's very smart. I love her. How does it feel for you to be in the Junior Society? It feels great because I feel like I finally accomplished something in my life. Uh, I'm really proud of it because it's, the, it's something I like to do. I like to help people out. Well, that's very nice of you. Congrats. Congrats to all of you for making it to the Junior Society. Bye, guys! Burbank is proud to have such dedicated students. If you would like to see the full recorded ceremony, you can find a link in the description below. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we will see you soon in another episode of The, the Burbank, Burbank Show. Show. Bye. Bye. All right, that All right, is, that it, is for it for today. today. Thank you, Thank for, you watching. for watching. We'll, we'll see, see you soon. soon. Another episode of The, the Burbank, Burbank Show. Bye. Boy, let me read it and then we say The Burbank Show together. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. We will see you soon for another episode of The Burbank, Burbank Show. Bye. Big brr. To send a short shout out of all. Hi. This week we. <laughs> <laughs> this week was counselor's appreciation. We would like to send a short shout out. Shout out. Okay. <laughs> this week was counselor's appreciation. Ah! <laughs> you want to do that one? Thank you, Ms. Green, Ms. Cortina, and Ms. Porras, and, and Ms. Martinez. We appreciate you. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Green, Ms. Cortina, Ms. Porras, and Ms. Martinez. Mr. Oh, oh, I got that boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you, Ms. Green, Ms. Corona. Oh my God! <laughs> corona time. <laughs> it's Corona time. <laughs> I remember. Thank you, Ms. Green, Ms. Cortina, Ms. Porras, and Mr. Martinez. We appreciate you. ¿Qué puedes hacer si alguien? Ay, my mask. <laughs> right, and go. Hello everyone. Boy, girl, I thought we already passed that. Then we gotta, we gotta do it again. How can you define cyberbullying? It's very bad. Can you uh, how can you define cyberbullying? <laughs> you, can, you can define cyberbullying. No, uh, uh, again, go. okay, okay. Okay, okay, Max, Max you Max, come first. Go. Max, go. Max, go. 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 Go.
Alright, hey. Burping you the other week. We. When I rap, it's so heat. Heat. Yeah, spitting that fight. Fire. <laughs> like flames. I'm going crazy, I'm not insane. I'm Michael Myers. Hey. But I'm a. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> he messed it up. Bro.